whether we've been in government or in opposition, um, opposition senators have always been very interested in the expenses at the lodge. Uh, I mean, when we're in government, the wine collection uh, and so on was the subject of obsessive interest. Look, I think in a somewhat uh, rancorous democracy such as ours, there is always this fear that someone is getting too big for his boots, uh, and I think we typically think that the Prime Minister is the most likely to okay, get too big for his boots. Here's the point in this case. I mean, the, the questions were, does he have a butler? Does mm. he have someone who walks his dogs, who minds his young son from time mm. to time? Is that person a nanny? Who pays for them? Mm. And what they seem to be getting down for, were, they, were these people, these minders, whoever they mm. are, were they being paid for by the public or were they mm. being paid for not by Kevin Rudd but mm. by his wife? That mm. seemed to be what they were trying to get at, whether his rich wife was paying the bills in the lodge. Mm. Now, is that going too far? Well, look, um, I, I, I think that we are very curious uh, about uh, whether our leaders are ripping off the system. And I think we're perfectly entitled as the public, uh, as politicians, to ask those questions. OK, Tony Plibersek. Now, I actually just want to intervene, <laughs> intervene here because we did have a terrific question that uh, we're not going to throw to the audience to get, but it was in reference to the leaked email on Fuel Watch, did the butler do it? <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, well, I, can't, I can't claim yeah, that for myself. That's why yeah. I read it out. <laughs> of course, the butler didn't do it because there isn't a butler, Tony. You would know that. Um, I wouldn't I, know that. I, is there not a butler? No, of course there's not a Who butler. Who is it that folds his trousers, this then? This is... Uh, <laughs> That, that, you'll be surprised to know, Tony, that I've never asked him that question. <laughs> um, th this is a, a, another cheap, nasty attempt from the opposition to try and tarnish a very popular Prime Minister. It, it is an attempt to make him look as out of touch as they were in their years of government. I think that it is... Um, I think that it is uh, quite desperate. I think it looks desperate. I think it sounds desperate. Um, I, I think, uh, it, you know, we, we know the Prime Minister has the same number of staff as the previous Prime Minister, but suddenly it's a crime that he should have personal staff. So the previous so, bloke was out of touch and this guy is really in touch and they've both got the same number of staff. No, no By the way, uh, Tony, you're trying to make it sound like he's got a different um, uh, type of staffing arrangement. You're trying to do it for your own convenience to score a cheap political point. I think it's pretty unfair. You Louise Adler, Adler you've got unfair. a butler? No, I want a wife. I think we used to call it in the good old days a wife. I want one of them. <laughs> I, I just want a Warren. rich wife. I've got an ad going out now if anyone thinks it. Uh, please help me. <laughs> OK, yes, we do have a, we do have a comment from... The, yes, sorry. Yeah, both that one is you mentioned about leaking government and which hunt. Have you heard of tuning in the car or tuning the new machine? So that is what new government is doing, tuning in. And okay. it's not a witch hunt. They are doing the right thing by finding out who is leaking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fair enough. OK, Bob Brown. Um, <laughs> do you have a butler? <laughs> do you want a butler? Do you want no. a personal assistant? Um, well, I've got... Uh... And do you think it's fair enough that the Senate is asking all these questions? Oh, yes, uh, but I do note that the Labor government has cut the ministerial staff by 10, 20, 30 per cent. 30 per cent. So they've put out dozens of butlers that the Howard government had. <laughs> uh, had <laughs> the, the parliament sa saving on it. But look, uh, uh, really, the opposition now is concentrating on this one person and the cost of it. And uh, a million to two million pensioners across Australia couldn't be found $30 in the budget to get them yeah. out of poverty. Isn't that well, the question? <laughs> Actually, they were found a $500 bonus and a change from the utilities allowance from $107 to $500 a year. So that's an almost okay. $900 increase. It is... It, I agree, Bob. I'm not saying... We've opened, I know we've opened a new debate. Pensioners Ladies do and it gentlemen, very tough. We're going to have to... No, we're, Tony, we're this is okay, important. It is an important point, point that he's made. Up. Pensioners do it very tough, but it is not fair to say that the $5 billion that we're spending over the next five years extra on seniors is nothing. It, it is a, a good step okay. in the right... Okay. It's okay. a good right. step in the I'm right sorry, direction. we could end up debating this for the next half an hour, but that is sure. all we have time for. So thanks for joining us on Q&A, and thanks to our panellists, Tanya Plibersek, Bob Brown, Warren Mundine, Tony Abbott and Louise Adler. We'll be back...
We'll be back next week on ABC One with a fresh panel of politicians and commentators to face the Q&A audience. You can sign up to be part of that audience in Sydney by registering once again, I'll say it one more time, on abc.net.au slash Q&A. That's Quanda. Thanks for watching and thanks to our audience for getting out and getting involved. We'll close the show tonight with a montage of our own, but remember we're looking for your videos to end our show, so start uploading them, uploading them onto our website. Good night. Oh, okay, guys. You want me to do it, huh? Okay. What's the line? It's your turn. Go on. I'm going to look straight down the camera. It's your turn. Go on. It's your turn. Hang Go on. on. Sorry. You ask the question. Go ahead. Make my day. It's your turn. Go on. Go on. Go on. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn now. Sorry, I was smirking then because I feel ridiculous. <laughs> Don't be bashful. <laughs> uh, I could say, uh, go on, it's your turn. They're going to be better questions than Tony's. Just, we're just doing one more. Go on. It's your turn. Ask the question. How are we going? Is that all right? We're just doing one more. Really?